Hi, welcome to the Health Corner on the Breakfast Show here on Kamini TV. I am Dr. Nakbiana Bufaya. So this week we have been talking about hypertension and we have discussed so many things about, about hypertension and we say that hypertension, most people do not even know that they have hypertension. So it's important for you to get checked. We discussed that hypertension is a blood pressure that is elevated or high blood pressure that is more than 140 and above and that many people who have hypertension their cause is not even known why they have hypertension but there are others that might have other diseases that might predispose them to have hypertension diseases like diabetes kidney disease and so many other endocrine diseases like hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism so we also say that hypertension can have symptoms, but most of the times people don't even have any symptoms of hypertension. But some people might present with uh, having headaches, having uh, bleeding from the nose, uh, shortness of breath, dizziness. And um, these are non-specific symptoms. And sometimes if an organ is already damaged, they might present with uh, um, symptoms based on the organ that is damaged. We also say that hypertension can be treated and that um, you need to take this treatment for your entire life because hypertension might be controlled but it doesn't um, go away. So if you stop the medication, your blood pressure will keep increasing and you end up having some several complications in the body. And some of the complications that we talked about are that Hypertension can cause heart diseases, it can cause congestive heart failure, it can cause coronary artery disease, and it can cause damage to the brain, causing a stroke. Um, it can also cause uh, kidney diseases and cause end-stage kidney, kidney failure, and so your kidneys might not function well, and even cause blindness in the eyes. So today we'll be discussing how you can prevent yourself from having hypertension and also how you can be able to control your blood pressure. Even as you are taking your medication, you need to be able to control your blood pressure through certain activities that you do every day. And so uh, these are lifestyle modifications. These are some of the things that you need to uh, implement in your lifestyle. So these include, uh, number one, you need to be able to lose weight. So if you are somebody who is obese, uh, or overweight, then it means that uh, you need to be able to lose weight. And by losing weight, losing weight has, has shown to improve your blood pressure. So if you have high blood pressure and you are obese or overweight, try to lose some weight and then you see that your blood pressure will even reduce as well. The other thing that you need to do is to limit your alcohol, alcohol intake. So if you are somebody that drinks so much alcohol, Try to reduce the amount of alcohol that you drink because um, reducing your alcohol intake has been shown to also reduce um, high blood pressure. The other thing that you can do is reduce how much salt you eat in your food. Avoid uh, putting too much salt in your food and even putting salt when you're eating in the, uh, in the food that you're eating. Avoid putting extra salt. Um, also, salt can be found in so many other foods uh, that are being sold, especially fast foods and even snacks. Um, so try to avoid foods that have high uh, salt in them. Um, so if you uh, check some of the labels of the foods, they might be saying they have sodium, and that means that they have a lot of salt. So try to check how much sodium the food has to be able to know whether there is so much sodium, which is salt, or not. The other thing that you can do is increase uh, eating foods that, ha that are rich in potassium, calcium, magnesium. And this includes uh, so many fruits and so many vegetables. Bananas are very high in uh, potassium. Um, and so many fruits and, and so many other vegetables are also good uh, sources of potassium, uh, magnesium, and calcium. Eat a lot of nuts as well. Nuts have got uh, so many benefits to the body and they will help to reduce your blood pressure. So some of the other things that you can do to be able to 
uh, reduce your blood pressure is to exercise. Make sure that you keep your body active. You need to be able to uh, exercise for at least 30 minutes every day uh, uh, for five days to uh, six days in a week. Um, it's important that you keep your body active and exercise. Exercise has been shown to improve blood pressure as well. It helps to reduce blood pressure by even up to 10 uh, millimeters of mercury. So it's important that you uh, exercise every day and keep your body active. So today we are, we, have, we are learning that hypertension can be prevented by our lifestyle uh, changes and uh, even those that have hypertension can be able to reduce their blood pressure just by implementing certain lifestyle changes. So these include uh, exercising, eating healthy, and um, losing weight if you are obese, and also limiting your alcohol and salt intake. So these are some of the things that you can be able to do at home to be, prevent yourself from having hypertension or to control your blood pressure. This has been uh, the talk for today. I do hope you have learned something and I do hope you have learned so many things from the other sessions that we had this week. And that's the end uh, for today. Thank you so much for watching.